Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be taking a look at an all new Cydia tweak that not only takes multitasking a step further, but also reimagines it on jailbroken devices running iOS 8. So to start off, the name of the tweak is App Heads. It's a premium tweak available inside of Cydia for $4.99. And if you guys are interested in winning a free copy of App Heads, just be sure to stick around to the end of this video for details on a giveaway. And with that said, let's go ahead and actually detail the tweak itself. So the first thing that you'll notice when I double press the home button here is that instead of the default interface that was introduced by Apple in iOS 7 for App Switcher, we now have these new little circular icons icons over on the left and the right hand side. It's definitely inspired by Facebook chat heads and these are actually reminiscent of the apps that I have open inside of the background that are being multitasked right now. And the difference is instead of just opening them, I can actually open a preview of the applications and you can set this up all through the settings app. So once you install app heads, you get an all new app heads pane inside of the settings app. All right, and going over the settings, first and foremost, we have the option to toggle app heads and when toggling it on or off it asks you to respring your device I'm not interested in that so I'm going to tap on cancel from there you can have it enabled for all apps which is how it is by default or if you wanted to select specific applications that app heads is enabled for then you can do that as well backing out here let's go ahead and toggle it on for all apps and then from there if you go inside of the show and hide action it brings up activator actions to actually bring up the app heads interface to replace the default app switcher I recommend using the double press home button action. You can really set it to anything that you want though. Scrolling through here, there's so many different actions and that's actually how you can enable the showing and hiding of this tweak itself. From there, you can design the view which allows you to customize how app heads actually appears. I have it set up to default because that's the way I like it. So let's go ahead and back out here. Next up, we have the display mode. By default, you have free, but you can also lock the app heads to the top, bottom, left, or right. Going back, we also have the ability to show app heads on the lock screen. We can exclude the mail app, hide app heads during video playback, and you can even allow which edges you want it on, whether you want it on both edges, as you can see here, or if you just want it on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, you can do that as well. Next up, we have two of the most important things for app heads. First of all, what a single tap does, I have it set to actually open the app, so that way it just functions as you would normally expect multitask asking too. So let's go ahead and press the home button here. And as you can see, just single tapping brings up the app itself. And I have it set to tap and hold to bring up the live preview. But you can also have tap and hold set to actually close out of all open applications, which is what it is by default. But because I want a preview and I also want it to function how it should function just by tapping a single time to open an app, then I have this option set to open it in the live view mode. And then from there, we just have the option to use Touch ID for the live view mode. And then you can also just enable that for specific applications if you so desire. All right, now that we have all of the settings out of the way, let's go over some of the real world applications of app heads. So starting off, let's open up Safari here to my YouTube channel. And then from there, I can tap and hold on any of the other apps that I have open, which are on the left and the right hand side. And if I wanted to, by the way, I could move them to any side and actually any position too. If I wanted to move settings down to the bottom, I could do that. And if I wanted to fully close out of any of these apps, I could just tap to drag it and then I could bring it down to this X here. Or if I had the tap and hold option set up, I could close out of all apps easily. So let's go ahead and show you the preview of an app. So tapping and holding, we have the live preview mode and apps are fully interactable here. This is really great for devices like the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus with larger displays, especially the iPad. And it's really awesome for multitasking. I absolutely love it and it's just great. So let's close out of it just by pressing the home button here. And as you can see, it goes back to its app head view. It just kind of snaps back into place there. If I want to fully open an app, again, all I have to do is just press on it. And let's show how a game actually functions inside of the live preview mode because it works really well. So we have Monument Valley here. 
And when you open the, any app, it gives you a new app head over here, unless you decide to hide it. So again, remember we set it up so that double pressing the home button hides and shows the app heads. So now all app heads are hidden and to get them back, all you have to do is just double press on the home button. And here we are, we have app heads over on the left and over on the right hand side, just like they were previously. So let's go ahead and actually close out of Monument Valley now and open up YouTube. And then we'll open Monument Valley in its live view mode simply by tapping tapping and holding. As you can see, it's extremely fluid and everything works really fast. It's actually very surprising. So starting off here, let's go ahead and load this first level and it just works how you would expect. So as you can see, I'm able to fully use the app. It's pretty fluid. It's actually just as fluid as if I were to fully open the app itself. As you can see, it works just as how you would expect it to. And then let's go ahead and press the home button now and we can just tap into it to open it in its full screen view. And then we can hide the app heads and it works absolutely great. This is an incredible tweak. And again, keep in mind, this is a complete reimagining of multitasking on iOS. And if you're asking yourself if app heads is for you, let me answer that question. This tweak is for those of you who like myself are craving something more from iOS's multitasking system because it can be so much more. It's incredibly capable, especially with the newer devices like the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus and the iPad Air 2. They have some really great processors on board and even older devices, they're also capable and they're definitely more powerful than the default iOS multitasking system. Let's give one more example, switching back and forth between two open apps. So let's go ahead and open up Safari here and switch over to free app life. You have a really nice animation and it looks very similar to the animation on iPads when you're actually switching back and forth between open apps using multitasking gestures. So let's go ahead and open up Safari here inside of a live preview and play one of my videos. So we're on my channel here, we're on YouTube and we're gonna play a video. I'm going to bring it out here just for this ad and we'll bring it right back in. All right, so videos work just how you would expect. As you can see here, the video itself is playing inside of Safari in the live view mode. Of course, we have youtube.com open here and we can actually switch it over into landscape mode and it opens the video inside of landscape mode in the live preview. So this is a really cool part of the tweak that enables the user to quickly view a video without having to feel like they're fully leaving the app because they can return at any time with just the press of the home button. So bringing my iPhone back into view here for the conclusion portion of this video, you'll notice that when I press the home button, the app head just snaps back to the right hand side. Let's go ahead and close out of it and toggle off the app heads interface. So again, this is app heads for iOS. It works on jailbroken iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models. It works best on iOS 8. It's available inside of Cydia for $4.99. And if you want your chance to enter to win a free copy of app heads, all you have to do is rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section with your Cydia ID. And for those of you wondering how to get your Cydia ID, all you have to do is launch Cydia. And then once it finishes reloading the data, just tap on manage account. And then from there, either connect with Facebook or sign in through Google. And once you do that, you will have your Cydia ID toward the bottom. I'm not going to tap into my account right now, but that's how you do it. And of course, to be eligible to win app heads, you do have to be subscribed to my channel. So if you're on the main page for this video, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. From there, you'll also be notified every time I release new videos covering other tweaks. And if you happen to see any tweak installed on my iPhone 6 Plus that I used during this video that I didn't highlight, then just be sure to check out my recent top Cydia tweaks list. I will have that link to via an annotation form on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. I will also have my jailbreak tutorial video for iOS 8 through 8.1 and details on the iOS 8.1.1 Pangu patching firmware from Apple. So again, it's it's crucial that you view this video on the desktop version of YouTube for complete information related to jailbreaking. You can also check out my channel at youtube.com forward slash iCrackYourIDevice. And that wraps up the review of this tweak, one of the best and most functional ones currently available inside of Cydia app heads. And for those of you interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. And then after tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button and open the app. From there, download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. 
All right, and I hope you guys like this video. If you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering various jailbreak related topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.